In today's video, I'll be showing you how to fix an error has encountered when trying to check for updates in Windows 10. As you can see at the moment, I have got the error and it doesn't matter if I keep clicking on check for updates, it just will not update and keeps coming up with this error message. So if you're having this problem as well, then the first thing you need to do is go onto this section here in update and security and you can then click on to troubleshoot. You now need to click onto additional troubleshooters. You will then see an option for Windows Update at the top. You now need to click onto this option and you then need to click on run the troubleshooter. It will now try and detect any problems. If the troubleshooter did detect a problem with your Windows 10 computer, then let the troubleshooter do its thing at trying to repair the issue. As you can see, mine did not identify any problems. So if this is the case for you as well, don't panic because the next thing you need to do is just close down the troubleshooter and we can now close down settings. So the next thing you need to do is ensure that your system clock is shown the correct time. Mine is currently shown the correct time, but if yours isn't, then you need to right click on the time and you now need to click on adjust date and time. You also do need to ensure it's shown the correct date but if yours is still showing the correct date and time, it's still worth doing this. So just simply toggle time automatically to off and then back on and do the same for the time zone to off and then back on. Once you have done that, go ahead and see if Windows updates is now working. If you're still unable to update Windows 10, then the next thing you need to do is just ensure there isn't any known issues with your internet provider. If you are currently having issues with the internet in your area, then that can cause a lot of problems when trying to do Windows updates. If there isn't any known issues in your local area, the next thing you need to do is open up the start menu and you now need to type in services. You need to click onto services and you now need to go all the way down to the bottom until you find Windows Update. You need to select Windows Update Service and right click on it and you now need to go Stop and you then need to right click on the Windows Update Service again and click on Start. Once you have done that you can now go ahead and see if you can check for updates now and hopefully that has resolved the issue. If you're still unable to check for updates then the next thing you need to do is right click in the bottom right hand corner again but this time on your network adapter. You now need to click on open network and internet settings and you now need to click on change adapter options and we now need to right click on our network adapter and go disable. Once you have disabled your adapter you now need to right click on it again and go enable. Once it has finished being enabled you can go ahead and check for updates again and see if that fixed the issue. If it didn't, then we now want to go back to the network status page, but this time you need to scroll down and click on network troubleshooter. It will now do a scan and try and detect any issues with your network adapter. And as you can see, mine didn't detect any issues. If yours did detect an issue, then go through the steps of resolving that problem. The next thing you need to do is close down the settings and we now need to open up File Explorer. You now need to click on this PC and you just need to ensure you do have enough disk space on your C drive. As you can see, I have lots of disk space so I shouldn't have any issues updating Windows but if you don't have much disk space then you will have problems trying to update. So go ahead and delete some files and make room on your C drive so you can then do the Windows updates. Once you have freed up this space, go ahead and see if check for updates is now working. But it's also worth restarting your computer first after you have freed up some disk space. So that does now bring me to the end of this video. I hope the methods in this video helped fix the problems you were having with trying to check for updates in Windows 10. If you did like the video, then click the like button below and subscribe for more computer sluggish tutorials.